Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about daily fantasy sports and quantitative finance. In particular, I'm going to talk about some of the similarities between building a team in daily fantasy sports and constructing a portfolio of stocks in quantitative finance. Many concepts are shared between the two fields, suggesting that we might be able to take ideas from one and apply them to the other. In future videos, I will highlight this fact by using some of Quantopian's quantitative finance tools to build a daily fantasy sports team. Daily fantasy sports, or DFS for short, is a game where participants can pick a fictional team of real players of a professional sport. A game of DFS is conducted over one day of competition, and participants can win prizes by picking players who perform well in competition that day. In many ways, this is comparable to trading a portfolio of stocks. At the beginning of the day, you can enter positions, and at the end of the day, your portfolio value reflects price changes in the stocks that you held. Let's go over the rules of DFS. To start, we'll go over scoring, then we'll talk about constraints that you need to follow when building a team, and lastly, we'll talk about prizes. In DFS, players score points based on events that occur in their game. The exact rubric changes by sport, but at a high level, players score fantasy points by doing things that are considered good in their game. For example, in daily fantasy basketball, a player might be awarded fantasy points for scoring baskets or accumulating rebounds, blocks, or steals. Ultimately, a participant is scored based on the sum total fantasy points of all players that they picked on their fantasy team. We can draw parallels to finance here. The performance of a stock is often tied to real-life events, and the name of the game in quantitative finance is to predict the performance of stocks in the future. This is really similar to predicting the performance of athletes in a game or competition. While playing a game of DFS, there are usually constraints that a participant must follow when picking their team. Here are some of the constraints. First, participants are required to pick a team with a specific number of players. For example, a game of fantasy baseball might require participants to choose a team of 10 players. Second, participants are required to pick a specific number of players in each position. This rule is sport dependent, but a daily fantasy American football game might require you to pick one quarterback, five receivers, two running backs, and a kicker. Lastly, participants must pick a team that fits under a fictional salary cap. For this one, game organizers assign a fictional salary to each player who is playing a game that day. The fictional salary is usually based on that player's expected performance in some way. Star players usually have a higher fictional salary than bench players. Each participant of the fantasy game is required to assemble a team of players whose combined fictional salaries are less than or equal to a particular limit, usually referred to as a cap. In quantitative finance, a fund or portfolio manager might impose their own constraints on how a portfolio should be constructed. For instance, they might want to limit their exposure to any one company, or they might want to limit the correlation of their portfolio to the market as a whole. Finally, daily fantasy sports have prizes, usually in the form of money. Prizes are awarded to the highest scoring teams in a game of DFS. Price structures can vary, but the two most common formats are top-heavy and 50-50. In the top-heavy format, the prize pool is distributed unevenly amongst the highest scoring teams. For example, in a game between 20 participants, the top player might receive 90% of the prize pool, the second player might receive 10%, and everybody else gets nothing. In the 50-50 prize structure, all participants who finish in the top half of the rankings split the prize pool evenly. For example, in a game of 20 participants, everyone ranked 1st through 10th are awarded roughly 10% of the prize pool. The analogous concept to price structure in quantitative finance is risk. In quantitative finance, managers target a specific risk profile. Some managers will target a low volatility, low return portfolio that aims to consistently achieve positive returns. Others might have a higher appetite for risk, choosing a high volatility, high expected return profile. In DFS, players should choose their risk profile according to the prize pool. For top-heavy prize pools, it is a better strategy to build a team with a higher expected return, even if it means higher expected volatility. 
But for the 50-50 prize pools, it's best to select a team that sacrifices some of that expected value for lower volatility and higher confidence that the score will be achieved. Now that we have a basic understanding of how daily fantasy sports work, we can move on to actually building a fantasy sports team. In the next video, we'll leverage some of the comparisons that we made between DFS and Quant Finance, and we'll build a team of players using some of Quantopian's quantitative finance tools. If you're interested in learning more, subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out when the next video comes out.